We are going to fast about Nigeria. But if we don't join a political party and influence and grow in that party, there's nothing we will do from now till tomorrow. Our prayer will just be an hypocritical prayer. Let's not deceive ourselves. All of you here, go and get voters card. Don't sit down. The destiny of Nigeria is in our hands. And this had nothing to do with religion. Whether you're a Christian or a Muslim or a pagan, it's about the destiny of Nigeria. You see me, you will never see me saying, this one will be president, that one will be president. I am looking for a Nigeria that will be built by us. I will not join any man of God to tell you that go and vote for that person, vote for that party. Mm, you have conscience. You know, you have eyes. You can see. You vote your conscience. I'm not a political prophet who is campaigning for, for, a, for, for one politician. No, I'm not. I'm just a prophet sent to the nation. And I've told you the heartbeat of God that we should pray against systemic failure. Whosoever become president of Nigeria, it is how God wanted it to be. I'm not among those who will tell you, fight this, fight that, fight that. I know we are going through a lot in Nigeria. And if you don't like it, change the change. And if you want the change, stay with the change. So guys, what did we do wrong or how did it go wrong? Because honestly, coming across this message, I just decided to share my opinion on this message and also post it here for each and every one of us to listen to what Prophet Joshua Igila has to say concerning Nigeria as a nation and concerning what happened during 2023 election. Like I said in my other videos that, like, what is going on? Did these other people that give prophecies concerning Peter Obi is going to win, Peter Obi is not going to win, Peter Obi is going to do this? Do they like did they get it wrong? That is what I'm just the question that I'm asking myself. And the only thing they keep on telling us that we should pray, we should pray, we should pray. At some point, see, eh, I get tired of praying and all that. See, don't get me wrong, bro. because why? We keep on praying. We pray more than any other people. The, the, the Muslims, the pagans, the this. Anytime we say God do this, God do that for our nation, it's as if it's not coming to pass. And I'm asking, are we getting it wrong by praying and all that? Because I feel like the situation of Nigeria, it's not by prayer. Because even God himself says that I give dominion over like men and all those things like if you understand what i mean and all that because god has given us power to be in charge of our affairs and all that there's something um Ibedamina says that god does not look into the affairs of men and all that and i actually disagree with him on that but there's something i want to see is that see laws are made by men to follow and all them every country has a law that governs them every state every local government every community every family every individual has a law that governs you as a person as a country as a state as a local government as families as community as a person so i'm beginning to ask why we prayed last year like never before people came out carry their voters cards and all those things you could see everybody was out in their number and then the people that will feel like this is the choice of the people and also the choice of god over our nation because a lot of prophecies were dropping back and front last year concerning that peter obey is going to emerge as the president of nigeria but sadly it didn't happen that way or it didn't go that way let me just put it that way then i'm asking then every time i hear pray that this thing will happen do you think people are actually going to come out for this 2027 presidential election that it's going to come before you know time is here and before you know voting will start because it seems like whatever we do whatever prayer we do there is an agent of darkness or there is a power of darkness hovering over nigeria that says that is what this elite or this godfather says that is what will definitely come to pass because nigeria is like is a pawn 
that is being shifted from one person to the other. Don't worry, catch your own fish as you like for so so number of years, then it's my turn to do. And I'm going to back you, I'm going to do watchman for you so that anybody that is coming behind your back, I will inform you and find a way to distract them and all that. I feel like that is what these people are doing, so they don't want anybody to be in power aside them and all that. And I feel like see we've given enough time to them to do all we do is to go on our knees and pray i feel like iron sharpness iron the same way they try to go around some certain kind of things i feel like that is how we need to go around some certain kind of things it's not by prayer prayer is good we are going to pray to commit everything into the hands of god for god to do signs and wonders and all those things but we need to act as human beings i remember when the election and all those things people were like peter will be is just talking 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 and all that at you went to court things that you people need to go to court to to sue you are not suing for those things you are suing for unnecessary things at the end of the case at the end of the day the case just got destroyed in your hand and all that because it's not relevant hit the nail on the head eh? if you want to catch something you have to hold them by their neck by their tail and all that grip them where they cannot escape so you don't go and be beating around the bush and be doing me, 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 me. then at the end of the day you talk where you go for and don't spot so what what do we do at this point I'm, I'm sometimes i feel like i'm tired of those prophecies and all that but i can't get tired because sometimes it gives you insight in us not everything that is bad and all that it gives you insight it gives you a heads up it gives you how to go about things how to be able to manipulate the systems at the same time because when we hear that what god say what plan see we need to follow it notoriously because i feel like everybody is going the other way around so let's go in as much as god have given you an insight concerning something fight it with everything you got you cannot come and be beating around the bush or be speaking dramas and all those things that is not how it works face it head on and all that and i feel like i'm looking forward to this coming um presidential election that's going to take place in 2027 so let's see how it goes and let's see how we put this in place before that time as you know before you know it's time and before you know it has happened so we don't need to be relaxed we don't need to keep quiet and all that let's keep on sharpening our arrows and everything and say that this time around we know we'll be for anybody that is just it for me oh that is just it see prophecies of one prophecies prayers of one prayer see prayer without faith or without work is is as dead as a dead rat that is what me i just see at this point so that is just my take on this video thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe don't forget to comment like share with family and friends so that you don't miss out on any of our content thank you very much for watching this video i'll see you in the next one